So, Marius, at last I find you. Tyrion, yes. Yes, now, now I recognize you. you. I should have known you travel in the skies. There, they're always watching. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. I was rather beginning to think you didn't want to be found. Oh, forgive me, Tyrion, please. It, it wasn't my fault. Not your fault? Tell me, Marius, how was it not your fault? The Wanderer. Yes, it was... was the Wanderer. My days at the Rogue Citadel seemed so long ago. I sought refuge from my memories in the company of other outcasts high in the mountains past the Eastern Gate. Do you want something? at a time, for when I dreamt, the memories would return. Memories of the monastery and the evil which had claimed it. Dreams, memories, I couldn't tell the difference anymore.
Why did I follow him? I don't know. Why do things happen as they do in dreams? All I know is that when he beckoned, I had to follow him. And from that moment, we traveled together east. Always into the east. Good day. Oh, greetings, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Well, some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Loot Gulain before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive, then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara, too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. I am Akara, High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, Traveler, to our camp, but I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it, but she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead are scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse, and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, find the dark labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the Great Eye watch over you. I should add that many rogue scouts have died in that horrible place. We cannot afford to lose any more. If you choose to enter that den of evil, you must do so alone. Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're here to challenge the evil that's driven us from our ancestral home. But know this, Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. The demons in that cave have claimed many of my finest archers. I wonder how you will fare. Yes? One who seeks that cave seeks death. Hi there. I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good to see some strong adventurers around here. Many of our sisters fought bravely against Diablo when he first attacked the town of Tristram. They came back to us true veterans, bearing some really powerful items. It seems like their victory was short-lived, though. Most of them are now corrupted by Andario. 
The beasts from the cave have begun to roam throughout the countryside. You'd better be careful out there. Good day to you, partner. I'm Geed, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. A spare weapon, some gold, a small gem is all I want in exchange for the equipment you'll need on whatever quest you might undertake. No, 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 don't be shy. All of my items are guaranteed for life and come with a two-day warranty. You're a brave soul. I'd sooner thrust my sacred scepter into the foulest carbuncular troll than set one boot into that cave. Hello. Your task is not complete until you have killed all the demons in that cave. Greetings. You'd better come through on this. Your reputation depends on it. Good day. One who hesitates does so with good reason. Greetings. You haven't cleared the cave yet? Do you need anything? Hello! Demons still be fouling that cave, huh? Huh. <laughs> I think you might need a new weapon. So it begins. Turn back. I can tell that you need more experience to fight safely in the next wilderness. Halt. You should complete Akara's quest before venturing further. Search for the den in the wilderness closer to camp. Thanks. So, 
This is where evil hides.
Is that all of them? Beware, the evil is strong ahead. Beware, beyond lies mortal danger for the likes of you. Take care, the corrupted rogues in the wilderness ahead are not to be trifled with. Thanks. The Sisterhood welcomes you. Hmm. I'm surprised you survived that test, Outlander. Go see Akara. She may reward you. Good evening. <laughs> that which does not kill you makes you stronger. What you need? You are truly brave and skillful. Akara was worried about you. Help you? The only good demon is a dead one, I say. By the way, did you happen to find anything in that cave you'd like to sell? You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned my trust, and may yet restore my faith in humanity. Your reward is training in the skill of your choice. Thank you. Greetings. My rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard. Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andariel. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our dead as zombies. We cannot abide this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. Death has done nothing to weaken Bloodraven's combat skills. If anything, she's more deadly than ever. Bloodraven fought valiantly against Diablo in the catacombs beneath Tristram. She was never quite the same afterwards. It is now obvious that she brought an evil influence back with her. How can one kill what is already dead? I'm sorry. The undead are bad for trade. I have a strict no-return policy. Bloodraven was the leader of a rogue band that once fought Diablo at Tristram. The Order welcomes you. If you fail to destroy Blood Raven, I fear that our Order will perish forever. Yes? 
Each moment you delay adds another undead sister to Blood Raven's army. Your presence honors me. When the dead return to prey upon the living, it is a terror beyond understanding. What you need? I wonder if that old gossip Melra is among the undead. Oh, she had dirt on everybody. What can I do for you? Akara felt something was wrong even before Andariel descended upon us. She feared that Bloodraven had stumbled upon some evil force beneath Tristram. I wish we had acted then. Planting the dead. My army will destroy.
Your time is past, Blood Raven. Good day. You've done well, stranger. I hope all your efforts are worth it. Hello. Some of those gals weren't so nice the first time around. Good day. Kasha wishes to reward you for your defeat of Blood Raven. I thank you too, even though Blood Raven was once my friend. Good day. Andariel must be made to pay for her sacrilege. I can hardly believe that you've defeated Bloodraven. Though she was once my closest friend, I pray that her tortured spirit remains banished forever. You have earned my respect, stranger, and the allegiance of the rogues. I have placed several of my best warriors at your disposal. Thank you. It is clear that we are facing an evil difficult to comprehend, let alone combat. There is only one Haradrim sage, schooled in the most arcane history and lore, who could advise us. His name is Deckard Cain. You must go to Tristram and find him, my friend. I pray that he still lives. Tristram is too far to journey by foot. Cain would likely be dead when you arrived. However, there is a magical portal that will take you there instantly. To open it, one must stand within the circle of cairn stones and touch them in a certain order. The proper order can be found in the runes written on the bark of the Tree of Inifus. You must find the sacred Tree of Inifus and bring back its bark. I will translate the runes to unlock the stone's mystic pattern. The Sisterhood welcomes you. The Bark of Inifus holds mystical runes. Akara can translate them into our revenge. Months ago, I came across a few survivors from Tristram. They said that Cain had gone half-mad, and could no longer distinguish fact from fantasy. If you bring back the Bark of Inifus, Akara will tell you how to get to Tristram. I would sooner micturate in a tankard of my own ale than journey to Tristram. Hello. How will you find Cain without going to Tristram? Finding the Tree of Inifus is the first step on your journey. Yes? 
The tree of Inifus is hard to find, but you'll know it when you see it. Your presence honors me. He who seeks that which cannot be found must look inside himself for further guidance. Or look harder. Greetings. Without the bark of Inifus, you can't find Cain. Good day. Barking up the wrong tree, huh? You'll find it. Just keep looking. This is yours. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. Such stones are common back home. I'll 
put that to good use. Yes? that to good use. And so it came to pass that the Countess, who once bathed in the rejuvenating blood of a hundred virgins, was buried alive. And her castle, in which so many cruel deeds took place, fell rapidly into ruin. Rising over the buried dungeons in that godforsaken wilderness, a solitary tower, like some monument to evil, is all that remains. The Countess's fortune was believed to be divided among the clergy, although some say that more remains unfound, still buried alongside the rotting skulls that bear mute witness to the inhumanity of the human creature. Good evening. Rumors of treasure are no different from rumors of any other kind. They hold false promise to those who should know better. Good evening. <laughs> the only wealth you're likely to find there is a wealth of vermin. Good to see you. That old tower is as rotten on the inside as it appears on the outside. I heard that several sisters came to a gruesome end when a stairwell collapsed on them. Hello. The tome speaks of treasure, yet all we have found are death, delirium, and disappointment. 
The Order welcomes you. The dangers there are not solely architectural. Once inside that wretched place, many succumb to a vile miasma. Greetings. There is no more I can tell you about that ancient tower. The Sisterhood welcomes you. Have you suddenly lost your taste for wealth? Where can I take you? Better an empty pocket than a full grave. Good evening. You're not ready to give up, are you? Yes? Guess what? I've named a boil on my ass after you. It too bothers me every time I sit down.
I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. to good use. I'll put that to good use. Dead tree teems with energy.
day. With this scroll, you may open a portal back to Tristram. Only Akara can decipher its logic. Good day. This looks like gibberish to me. Akara may know what to make of it. Good day. Get this to Akara. Only she can understand it. you? Yes. Look, friend, I trade a lot of strange items, but I'm not gonna start dealing in bark, okay? Ah, oh, very good. I have translated the runes on this scroll. You must find the cairn stones and touch them in the order that I have written. There is no more. The order welcomes you. If he still lives, Deckard Cain may be in grave peril. You must hurry to Tristram before all is lost. Deckard Cain has crucial knowledge about the evils we face. You must find him. It is too dangerous to travel to Tristram. I won't be leaving here until the way is clear. I have heard that Tristram is now in ruins. Without Cain, I fear for the ruin of all of us. I'm told that Tristram now resembles a meat hall, after a barbarian wedding. I will wait here for your most glorious return. Ruins. The f 
fate of all cities. Help! Deckard Kane. <laughs> to good use. As a token of my gratitude, I will identify items for you at no charge. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. It would appear that our greatest fears have come to pass. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, has once again been set loose upon the world. As you know, some time ago Diablo was slain beneath Tristram, and when our hero emerged triumphant from the labyrinth beneath town, we held a grand celebration that lasted several days. Yet, as the weeks passed, our hero became increasingly aloof. He kept his distance from the rest of the townsfolk and seemed to lapse into a dark, brooding depression. I thought that perhaps his ordeal had been so disturbing that he simply could not put it out of his mind. The hero seemed more tormented every passing day. I remember he awoke many times, screaming in the night, always something about the East. One day he simply left, and shortly thereafter Tristram was attacked by legions of foul demons. Many were slain, and the demons left me to die in that cursed cage. I believe now that Tristram's hero was that dark wanderer who passed this way before the monastery fell. I fear even worse, my friend. I fear that Diablo has taken possession of the hero who sought to slay him. If true, Diablo will become more powerful than ever before. You must stop him, or all will be lost. Quickly in and quickly out is all the advice I can give you. Thanks. Hello. Your presence honors me. Only a brave adventurer could return with Deckard Kane. Akara has a reward for your valor. Let's deal, my friend. Ah, Kane is here. <laughs> Another customer. I haven't been this pleased since a love-starved maiden let down a bit more than her hair. What you need? Akara wishes to reward you for your bravery in returning Deckard Kane. Greetings. Again, you amaze me, Outlander. The Sisterhood is grateful to you for delivering Cain to us. I believe Akara has something to tell you. You have risked your life to rescue Cain. For that, we thank you. We must seek his counsel immediately.
When I fled the monastery, I left behind the Herodric Malice, my enchanted smithing hammer. If you can retrieve it for me, I'll use its magic to strengthen your equipment. The monastery can confuse even those who know it well. Stay alert in there. Thank you. Charcy talks of nothing anymore but this Herodric malice. Between you and her, my ears need a rest. Just find it and bring it back quickly. Just as an archer needs bow and arrow, or a draftsman pen and paper, so Charcy needs the Horadric Malice with which to ply her trade. The Malice was forged and enchanted by the ancient Horadric Mages during the Sin Wars. When their union dissolved, the Malice was entrusted to the Sisterhood, guarding the pass into the East. Charcy is wasting her time and talents using an inferior hammer. Had she the Herodric Malice, she could make the steel sing and craft you a suit of armor as impenetrable as the Great Eye. Good evening. The retrieval of the Herodric Malice is not without risk. Our monastery is filled with voracious hellspawn. You'd best be careful, my friend. The Order welcomes you. If you can't carry out this quest, how will you face the greater evils ahead? Good evening. To do battle with Andariel requires more than thick skin and a strong will. You'll want armor and weaponry forged with the Hammer's enchantments. Good to see you. Hmm. The malice has eluded you so far. Well, search thoroughly in the barracks. That is where the rogues kept their forge. Good evening. Well, what better opportunity to show your metal? Good to see you. The malice is a heroic artifact of great power. Please bring it back. Good evening. I've heard that you bear us no malice. smell why this tower was abandoned.
done, my friend. Courage and opportunity together have created in you a kind of alchemy. Good day. Remember, wealth is as insubstantial as a cloud and passes as quickly. Ignore Geed. All that twitters is not bold. Good day. Warive's advice is like corpse gas. It befouls the air for a moment, and then it disappears. Good day. Those riches will serve you well on the long road ahead. The Sisterhood welcomes you. Your rewards are well earned. To us, the tower was nothing more than a headstone looming over a long-forgotten grave. Greetings. I thought the stories of treasure in the tower were nothing but lies. 
I am glad you found something of value in that death trap. Would that our sisters had been so fortunate. Yes? Good day. Oh, my God. 
Magical effects imbued by the malice are impossible to predict, but are always to the good. Good day. Now that the Herodric malice is back in our possession, we shall use it to deliver a great blow against the evil which torments this land. Greetings. Well done, my friend. But remember, the return of the Herodric Malice is but one step in claiming the monastery. Where can I take you? I am glad the hammer has returned, and you with it. Hello! I guess it's too late to take back some of the names I called you. Oh, thanks so much for returning the Herodric Malice. I will now imbue one of your items with magical powers. It is certain that we face the demon queen, Andariel, who has corrupted the rogue sisterhood and defiled their ancestral monastery. This does not bode well for us, my friend. Ancient Horodric texts record that Andariel and the other lesser evils once overthrew the three prime evils, Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal, banishing them from hell to our world. Here, they caused mankind untold anguish and suffering before they were finally bound within the Soul Stones. And Doriel's presence here could mean that the forces of Hell are once again aligned behind Diablo and his brothers. If this is true, then I fear for us all. You must kill her before the monastery becomes a permanent outpost of Hell and the way east lost forever. Diablo is heading east for some foul purpose, and the only passage east is through the monastery gate. Obviously, Diablo summoned Andariel to block any pursuit. For her part, Andariel hopes to win Diablo's favor. The lesser demons are always vying for positions of power within the unholy hierarchy. The map makers tell us the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Our way east is a line that runs through Andariel's stronghold, the monastery. You're going after Andariel? Uh, one of my wagon wheels is in need of repair. I'll be under the wagon, if I'm needed. What you need? Send Andariel back to the hell she came from. I can imagine a thousand different ways to kill Andariel. You need only choose one. Andariel has desecrated all we hold dear. 
She must not be permitted to serve the Abzo. Destroy her. The corruption of our order must be undone. Good day. You have done much to help us, but I sense that this has only fueled Andariel's fury. She will not stop until we are all dead. You must kill Andariel before her army can gain the upper hand. Greetings. Deckard Kane has important information about Andariel. Stay a while and listen. It is clear that Andariel is acting on behalf of Diablo to prevent anyone from following him eastward. Her defeat would allow you to continue the pursuit. Ancient lore has it that while Andariel was spawned in the burning hells, she is not fond of fire. Good evening. May I remind you that my caravan can only go east if the monastery is cleansed. What you need? Have you stumbled upon that demon queen yet? I hear she's quite the beauty. <clears throat> as far as maidens of anguish go, that is. Yes? If you are the hero that you seem to be, now is the time to prove it. can't hold a force of nature. Ha <laughs> ha 
Hello. Hello. Supernatural is strong here.
Good day. Oh! <laughs> 
This is a great victory indeed, but many more battles await. I will accompany you on your journey, lending what assistance I can. Remember, Diablo is still out there, seeking something in the desert. I'm afraid that this nightmare will not end until you find what it is that he seeks. And Dariel's death brings about renewed life for us all. We mourn the loss of our dear sisters, but at least now we can get on with our lives. I may have misjudged you, Outlander. You are a true hero, and testament to the noble spirit which has inspired our order for generations. Farewell, my friend. Finally, we may rejoice. We owe you a debt we can never repay. I only hope that in time, we will be able to rebuild our order. All our thanks go with you, my friend.
what you need. You'll probably go east now. It was good to know you. I hope you'll come back if you ever need anything. Let's deal, my friend. <laughs> I'm gonna party like it's $9.99. The caravan is prepared. We may now journey eastward to loot Golane. <laughs>